I'm Chelsea Gonzalez. And I'm Sonny. You know, we have lots of great books at CAG, but Chelsea and I want to talk about one of our faves, Mindset. You know, the principles that you learn in this book can be applied to business, school, and relationships. And basically, the theme of the book is, you know, you have two different mindsets, and, and Chelsea can tell us all about them. So there's a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset looks at a challenge and says, I can either do this or I can't. And a growth mindset looks at a challenge and takes that as an opportunity to improve. They don't see failure as a bad thing. So I always thought that I had a growth mindset, but I'm actually a little bit more fixed than I realized. I am a mega perfectionist. So if any type of failure, I really, really ridicule myself on. I feel like I have to be successful, like that's the only option. So this was a really eye-opening book to me. Um, taught me a lot of different things about myself that I didn't realize. You know, it all boils down to one thing, and that's self-awareness. You have to first identify what type of mindset you are. The good news is, no matter what you are, we all have neuroplasticity, which is the ability for the brain to form through growth and reorganization. I really encourage everyone to read this book. I feel like you can learn so much about yourself. You may think that you have a growth mindset, but you really have a fixed mindset. There is such thing as a false growth mindset, and that's one of the interesting things that's in this book. She says many people take what they like about themselves and call it a growth mindset. So it's also focusing, not just focusing on what you're good at, but what you could use improvement. Well, we hope you enjoyed our promo here for Mindset. If you, uh, if you enjoyed what you heard, pick up a copy, go to your GM's office. We have copies all around CAG. Check it out, read it, and we can't wait to hear all the success stories that come out of it. That's all. Peace.